Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create closed ends on the spring that we created in the last tutorial. Now, the way we're going to do that is we're going to select the plane that we first created this on. If I come over here to my planes, I can select the XZ plane. And if I rotate this, you can actually see that that's the bottom plane. It intersects the spring here at the bottom. That's the one that we created the spring with. So what I'm going to do is come over here to create and I'm going to come down to coil and within coil I'm going to start a sketch automatically it, it brings you to start a sketch and you want to start a sketch right there on the center point the center point which is actually right in the center of the whole spring and I want it to be the same diameter as the original spring that we created. So I'm going to type in four for four inches. I'm going to hit enter. And what we want to do from here is we want to set all the same parameters for starters. So I'm going to change the diameter. I'm going to keep it at four inches. The revolutions are going to be five. The height is going to be six. It's going to be zero for the angle, circular, on center, and the section size is going to be 0.6. So that's exactly the same, those are the same parameters that we used when, when we created the spring before. This is going to be a join operation. And as you can see, the springs are intersecting right now. Now, obviously, that's not what we want. Um, so what you can do to combat that is just put a negative sign in front of the height. And that's going to flip it completely the other way. And as you can see, they're intersecting here. Now we don't want them to intersect, so I'm going to come over here and click on rotation and that's going to rotate it the other way. So now they're connected. So what we can do from here is we can simply just drag this and you can see that they actually close at a given point. And we can mess around with the revolution. So let's say I want to do uh, 1.5. What I can do from here is I can just drag this up and once you touch, you're going to see that you get the error, failed to build the coil tool body. All you have to do is make sure that there's, um, that you don't have the coils actually intersecting. If you have them intersecting, then uh, you're going to get an error message. So you can have them uh, touch or you could have them almost in contact with each other. Well, you can't have them touching. They have to uh, be spaced out enough that they don't fail. And that's how we create the closed end. So I'm going to hit OK. And what we want to do at the top is we want to create a flat for the top one, uh, just as an example. So on the YZ plane, we're going to create a sketch. And I'm just going to create a simple two point rectangle. And I can come to Solid, Extrude, and as you may have guessed, we're just going to create a cut. And we can just drag all the way through. And that's that ground end right there.